Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to do a quick one year review of these Giro, what are they called? Rubble VR cycling shoes, mountain bikes shoes actually. I've had these one year. I bought these at amazon.com for about $100, which to me is kind of pricey for cycling shoes, but maybe that's the norm. My only other cycling shoes I ever bought were some decathlon ones, which were quite similar in the fact they were also lace up. Uh, mountain bikes specific shoes so that's the only thing i have to compare it to but i will say after one year of use after one year of a lot of times quite hard use you know uh, i'll cycle with these out to a trail and then hike a couple kilometers in some rocky conditions i will say they're holding up pretty well if you take a look at the bottom whoops you can see there are some sections that are pretty beat up like that and uh, even the pads are, are kind of worn out another beat up section right there. But overall, they're holding up really well. There's no holes, no tears, anything like that in these shoes. They are a fully synthetic shoe according to the specifications, although they do look like they have a leather outsole. They do not, according to the specifications, these are, should be fully synthetic. They are, I would say, running a little bit small. I normally run a size nine, and these are nine and a half, and they fit nice and snugly, which I do like for cycling shoes. So maybe take that into consideration. I will put a link to the product down in uh, the description below in case you want to go to it and uh, I'll get a small kickback for that for the Amazon affiliate program. They are not at all waterproof. That's one thing to mention. They, uh, th this is kind of a mesh right here and if, if any water comes hitting that, it'll go right, pretty much right through. Also right here, it's a mesh. So uh, that's one thing I guess for the money, it would be kind of nice if these were a little bit water resistant because I have had some wet feet from time to time on the, with these shoes but otherwise they've actually been really great and I would say after one year of, of hard use they're holding up pretty well I should speak I guess a little bit about stiffness I would say they're quite stiff I'm pressing pretty hard right now and it's really not hardly bending at all they're very stiff in my opinion uh, I'll throw the weight up on the screen I think they're pretty standard for the weight I don't remember at the moment but I guess comfort wise they're in my opinion very comfortable uh, you can walk with these anywhere and, you know, I mean, I, I guess they're not going to be as good as a hiking shoe or even a you know, walking shoe, but I've walked many kilometers on these, no problems at all. Uh, obviously their grip isn't going to be great for hiking with this uh, section cut out and, and metal, you know, there. But none, nevertheless, I have walked with these quite a few kilometers just on trails and in different places. The nice thing is, is the, the cleat area is recessed. so. Uh, you really don't hear too much unless you're stepping on some kind of abnormal surface or if um, if there's some kind of rocks or something under your feet. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet walk. These, you know, if you're on a totally flat surface, you won't hear anything. So then the question is, are these worth $100? Well, obviously I can't answer that for you. I did pay somewhat less, maybe 40% less for my decathlon ones a few years back. Uh, I wouldn't say that these are a lot better, but I do think they're a bit stiffer. So if that's something you value, uh, these might be worth the money for you. I'll obviously keep using them. Probably they'll last me at least one or two more years at this rate. And uh, I don't know if I'll buy another pair or not. We'll see. I think next time I might try another type of lace system. And maybe not a lace at all. Maybe some kind of click system. I'm not sure. Just to, I don't know, try something different. I will say the one thing I should mention is these are not the original laces. About uh, two months ago or something like that, I changed the laces to these black ones. Not that the other ones had any problems. They were getting a little bit dirty looking, but really the reason I changed them is just for looks. I just, uh, I, I got a little bit tired of the bright orange that they came with and I got these for a few bucks at Walmart and uh, they work perfectly fine. And I think they look a lot better than uh, the orange ones did. I should mention one other thing. It does have one of these lace capture systems right here. It's like elastic and I like that because it keeps the laces kind of tucked away nicely. But uh, the only thing other than a bit, bit more waterproofing I, I could appreciate, also maybe I would like it if they had a model that was all black or gray or something a little bit less flashy even than this orange. I also wish that they didn't come with the uh, orange laces, but that's just uh, minor things. Really, I don't have that much else to say about these shoes. They've worked perfectly fine after one year. If you guys like this video and put some comments in there, I'll even do a two-year update, assuming I have them in two years. Anyway, I guess that's about all I have to say about these shoes. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.